My immune system was ruined when I was six due to improper medical treatment. I was treated for six months with antibiotics for asthma. For those who don't know, that's not how you treat asthma, and I mean. Six months on antibiotics is an overkill. This all happened before my knowledge of Neville's teachings, although the concept I used was the same as his, I never ignored the 3D, I fell back lots of times in the old story, I didn't live in the end, I didn't do robotic affirmations nor sats, although I used to visualize for fun, I didn't have faith either, that took a lot of external validation to build. I simply decided, persisted, and responded only to events that demanded my attention. I hope this helps someone who struggles with techniques and faith. Up until I was around 22 to 24, I would get constantly sick from everything. I'd catch any and every flu, virus. I'd get very sick from temperature changes, and I mean very sick. Almost always had to revert to antibiotics, or else my body just couldn't deal with it. I just got sick of it. I always felt anxious when traveling. I was scared to socialize when there was a virus going around, that was a no way to live. This was at a time where I didn't know of Neville yet, but I knew of manifestation and self-concept. I just decided that my immune system is strong and it does not need any harsh pills to deal with viruses. It was kind of a scary journey, cause each time I'd get sick, I had to remind myself how healthy and strong I am, as I refused to take any meds. I'd take something light if it got too bad, like paracetamol, but that's all. I'd just tell myself I don't care who is sick, I am healthy. I just don't care. Now I'm 29 and oh my god, from being the one with the weakest immune system and always sick in my friend's circle, now I'm the healthiest one. I rarely get sick and even if I do, I'm able to still function and pass it on my feet. It's so freeing. But I never focused on the end, the end being me feeling free and at peace in certain circumstances. I only forced myself to be calm whenever I got sick. It's crazy how easy it is to manifest, right? Like you don't even have to think about it that much and constantly be in that state. The story is very similar with my mental health. I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and BPD. Mind you, I've never believed in mental illness. I was going then through an intense spiritual awakening, and those disorders were simply the byproduct of my transformation. People around me were forcing me to take pills, I kept refusing. I just didn't believe. Don't get me wrong, there was time I was so tired and broken of feeling I don't have control over my moods, emotions, etc., that I'd give up mentally and consider just stuffing myself with antidepressants. But I persisted. I still don't believe in mental illness as something that cannot be cured, nor something that can be cured with pills. I've never been healthier. It's funny because when we were young, my friends were stable and I was always perceived like the one with issues. Now, they are struggling with depression and anxiety for the first time in their life, whereas I'm living my best life. Sometimes the last ones become first. How did I do it? I just refuse to believe I'm somehow disabled. There was a time I'd just affirm through my pain and tears, I don't care, I am happy, I deserve to be happy. I don't believe that I don't care method is ignoring the 3D. I never ever ignored my 3D. I acknowledged that my immune system was physically ruined by an incompetent doctor, but I didn't care. I believed it could be reversed. I never ignored the fact that mental illness ran in my family, but that wouldn't stop me. And by the way, once I healed my bipolar, my dad's mental health improved too. Isn't it crazy? And honestly, it didn't even take that much time. Took one to two years to fully embody and trust my new state of a healthy person, both physically and mentally. There's no one to change but self. In May, I had a patch of acne pop up on my cheek. This was super unusual for me, because I only ever got the occasional pimple, and I figured it would go away quickly. Weirdly, this patch of red, flaky, rough skin stayed for months, and it was making me super insecure. After reflecting on my thoughts, I realized that once the acne had stayed for a couple weeks, I had flipped to assuming that it would take forever to go away, and that I needed to find the perfect product that would get rid of it for good. This was a 180 from my mindset before May. 
which was that I had clear skin and had nothing to worry about, if I had pimples, they would go away in a few days at most. When I realized that I was creating this reality, I switched my mindset entirely to living in the end. If I saw my face in the mirror, I would smile and think to myself how clear my skin is, or how amazing that the acne disappeared so quickly. I stopped using the products, that I was only using out of desperation since I assumed that my acne wouldn't recover without them, that were probably irritating my skin, and I kid you not after a week my face was entirely healed. This is another example of the law to me, and I literally feel like this is a miracle, since I thought that this would never heal. The spot of skin where it used to be is super smooth and healthy, with no redness. I just feel so content. A testimony to tell you anything is possible. I have GERD since I was 18, I am 25 now, it was the most horrific experience, people that have GERD knows. I had go through a lot of medication, PPI, and gastroscopy, but the GERD never healed. During the last months, I was depressed because of it and lost faith. It was very hard for me to eat or sleep since I get so many heartburns, severe bloating, pain when I walk, pain in my teeth because of how sensitive they were. Two days ago, I decided to open notes on my phone and started for one hour to write all sorts of affirmations concerning my acid reflux. I am free from acid reflux, my stomach is healed, my stomach is free from ulcers. When I tell you the next day, I woke up without any bloating, my reflux and heartburns were reduced so much, I was finally happy for the first time in years. Yes years, people with GERD knows how hell it is to live with that. You have to always be careful at what you are eating, sometimes you bloat so your clothes doesn't fit for the rest of the day, constant heartburns in the throat. I have so much faith in the law now. I plan on healing completely from GERD now. Maybe I will get downvoted for that, but if you have GERD, you need to get yourself a gastroscopy. I find out I was prone to ulcers, so when I affirmed, I knew exactly the cause of my GERD and asked my body to heal it. There are many reasons for GERD, like gluten intolerance, celiac disease, ulcers, bacteria. I really think it's best to know what's the trigger and ask your body to heal. The affirmations are so powerful when it's precise. Have a nice manifestation journey. Some of you need to understand what this is about and you are not understanding it on a deep level because you're all worked up and focused on these techniques. You don't understand how easy and simple this is. It's laughable how easy it is. Manifesting is practically a walk in the park when you understand this. Listen, when it comes to manifesting, there's only one step that's truly involved. Very simply, you have to be delusional. Like bad shit crazy delusional, okay? Not, maybe I'll achieve this and that, not it will happen, not soon, not tomorrow, and not one minute from now. No, it is already your reality, right here, right now. Some of you don't understand that the only thing, the only thing stopping you from receiving what you desire in this world is you not knowing that it is already yours, read that again. Notice how I used the word knowing. There is a difference between knowing and believing. Believing is the first step in order for your desire to manifest into reality, you have to know deep inside that it's already a reality. How do you know before you know? Very simple, you decide that the thing you desire is already in your possession. You become so convinced of this fact that you become delusional. Yes. That is the core right there. If we went about this realistically, we wouldn't achieve anything and we would not attain anything we desire. Do you think the greats of our generation, the people who achieved the impossible, thought realistically? No. They were delusional. For God's sake, they were delusional. That's what led them to achieve the impossible, in the end. Let them think you're crazy. Let them call you delusional. You know what, this is delusional in a sense, but I'd rather be delusional all day than realistic and live within the confines our society has set. I know deep inside, I know that I can achieve anything I desire, it's already mine. Know that there is nothing stopping you. Nothing, the thing is already yours. How could it not be? You already know it is a reality. When I refer to delusion, of course, we aren't really delusional, 
but in the sense of the word and prior to achieving your desires, yes, you have to be a bit delusional in order for you to know it is already yours. I used to constantly get called delusional for believing I would achieve my dreams and make them a reality. I tried explaining to people that this is not delusion, we really can create our own reality. I understood after a while that I might as well embrace that word, if people were gonna call me delusional for this, so be it. I know it is in my power to create my own reality, and if according to some it is delusion, I'd rather embrace the term. In my experience, every time I embraced this term, and let myself become delusional so to speak about achieving something I wanted, it would manifest very quickly into my reality. What I've learned is that the subconscious receives this delusional mindset as reality, and of course, externalizes it in turn. When I would see it from realistic folks' perspective, nothing would manifest, how could it? I didn't even believe in the reality of my desire. So to you today, I say embrace the delusion, let yourself believe in the impossible, and go make those dreams a reality. The way to manifest your dream reality is very simple, be delusional, 